Welcome back to the channel guys. Quick little update this week, just uh, working in the lab and thought I'd give you guys a little behind the scenes sneak peek. Check this out. I got a mailbag coming this week because we're way overdue. Tons of stuff in here, oh, lots of goodies, even some more 3D printing filament. Got tons of that. This is going to be a little fun. Going to do a little quad uh, indoor race track. That's going to be kind of interesting. So in the lab, I've got... Well, 3D printer is running, but we'll cover that in a minute. I thought I'd share this. If you guys have been a subscriber for a really long time, you've probably seen this, where I made my own brain computer interface using Arduino. And what I want to do, what I wanted to do was break into this. Inside here, is another headset that I've never used. In fact, I never used the whole game thing. For those of you not familiar, this is a device to read your brain waves and battle another person, but they lend themselves well to hacking. And what I want to do is add wireless to this one. They are wireless by default, but I never did figure out if anybody reverse engineered the protocol. So I'm going to have my own wireless module instead of this one where I had some old Cat5 Ethernet cable to go to the Arduino. Then we're going to try something new. I got some electrodes arrived a little while back for an ECG. Uh, uh, EEG or ECG, but this is electrocardiogram, electro, uh, electrodes, and I think between these and a brain-computer interface, it could be a little interesting. I'm not too sure, but we're going to give it a try. That's what's on the bench tonight. Check this out. You might have already seen this, but just for doing product shots, I got myself a cool little turntable. How neat is that? This week I also updated the SpaceX rockets. Uh, I painted the silver one with the blue and what I'm thinking is this monster, this is 1.2 meters uh, just about. I think I'm going to paint the nozzles and stuff and I'll show you guys how to make this in a future video. Anybody knows why I'm getting this rippling on this cone? I would love to know. It seems to be a product of the firmware on the CR10, on the Creality CR10, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. I've got the 3D printer, the CR10, running full tilt boogie right now. We're doing another wing uh, for the Edge 540 aircraft. And it's coming along beautifully. I've got the T800 supervising, and I just can't believe how well I've got this dialed in. Check this out. Here's one of the wings. Let's take it over to the light where you can see it. These are just amazing. Check out the quality on that. Is that not incredible for a 3D printed model? It's a single layer, single perimeter. And well, it's to keep it light, right? But I oh, just couldn't be happier. This thing is just coming along beautifully. And this is going to be a aerobatic aircraft, probably for a wall hanger at first, but maybe we'll take it out and fly it. Unbelievable. So that's where we are this week. Uh, just printing, hobbying, trying to share with you guys as much as possible. I'm going to work on getting that mailbag out and uh, show some more behind the scenes as often as I can. I just want to bring you guys along. Hope you like these style of videos. Uh, throw a thumbs up if you like this. It really, really helps the channel, guys. And I will see you in about two days. Cheers, guys.